everyone! I um, got a order of Canvas Court Brands goodies in the mail today, so I thought I'd just do a little unboxing video and show you what I got. I got a lot of more uh, paints this time, so um, I wanted to show you which ones I got and maybe um, do a little bit of um, showing you the colors here on some of uh, my just plain old white cardstock. So I don't have any orange and I've noticed that my colors are kind of like blues and greens and you know so I thought I'll go out of my comfort zone a little bit and get some different colors. So I went and got this orange. Um, it's called it's orange. <laughs> so I think this is like their basic orange color which is why I picked it because I don't know um, I was just looking through and I thought it would be nice just to have a basic orange color so Ooh, I like that that's pretty cool I always like how the shimmer mist uh, glimmer mist they soak into the paper pretty quickly and they look really great so there's orange and I also got a few more chalkboard um, paints because um, I really like these. They're a little bit more opaque than the Glimmer Mists. The Glimmer Mists are kind of translucent. Um, the chalkboard um, paints, they also have shimmer in them, but they put a little bit more saturation of color down. So I've got this one, and it's called Monolith. I think it's kind of a gray, but let's see how that one looks. Yep kind of a stone type gray which I really like so it's always good to have your neutral colors here's another chalkboard this one is violet rose I already have the black orchid and that's a gorgeous purple color but I wanted something a little bit more um, a little bit lighter so I went with this one it's kind of a mix I think between purple and pink Ooh, I like that one that one's pretty. That one's violet rose. Yep. And I went ahead and I got some blue ribbon. I have a few sort of turquoisey blues, but I don't have like a really nice blue blue. So I went ahead and I got this one. Shake it up a little bit. Ooh, that one is a very bright blue. I like that. I can use that for a lot of things. I'm going to get my towel here and kind of wipe up the area. <laughs> All right. Now, I don't have any of the high impact paints yet, so I went ahead and I got a few. I have ivory and black because I thought it's always good to have your, you know, basic um, whites and blacks and everything. So, um, let's see how these go. I haven't used these yet. All right. So these are more like an acrylic paint. Um, these are not sheer at all. <laughs> if you put this on something, it's going to completely um, cover your paper or whatever you're painting. It's not going to let any anything show through. So that's pretty cool. I have some uses for that. I actually got this yellow because I have a project that's half done right now and I wanted to put some yellow into it and I didn't have any yellow so I'm going to be using that soon. Here's your black. So it's just basic ivory and black um, but they're more acrylic like. They're not as thin or transparent as the glimmer mist or the chalkboard paint. And let me try this yellow. I'm excited about this one because I've been waiting to finish my project for a little bit. All right, that's nice light yellow. I'm sure I'm getting a little bit of my paints mixed up here, so with using the same paintbrush, but I'm excited for that one. I'm gonna be using that one on my project. And then I went ahead and I only have one, well, I have two Glimmer Glams. I have the Camel, which is a gorgeous gold color. I I love it. I use it on everything. And then I have the Clear, which isn't like, um, doesn't have this chunky glitter in it. It just gives you a really nice um, shine. So it's a great top coat for something, or if you're going to do like decoupage or something. Um, 
but I went ahead and I got this um, Roses Are Red because I just love uh, deep dark reds. So let's see what this one looks like. Oh yeah, I like that one. No, I did just put it on top of the gray, so I'm sure it's uh, kind of changing the color a little bit. But a cool thing with your Glimmer Glams is, if I can show you, dig out my heat tool here, is if you heat them up hot enough, they will start to bubble and uh, sorry, they'll give you some texture. So I'm going to show you that real quick. bubbled up a little bit right there. Maybe I'll put a little bit more down so you can see. Um, I've also noticed that you know you shake up your Glimmer Glam and you get all these bubbles on the top which at first I was like that's kind of annoying but if you get a lot of bubbles put down on your paper it really helps um, I found to get some more texture going. So let me show you all how that works. Okay that'll be good. Let's try this again. down and I had a lot of bubbles so you can see it bubbled up and it's dry it's gonna stay like that it bubbled up and it just stayed like that and it's really shiny and I just think the glimmer glams are a lot of fun so those are my um, paints I did get some DIY and decor paint as well let me show you those this one is called Mankato and I wasn't quite sure I have, I have a piece of furniture I'm going to be um, painting with this one, so I'm really excited to do that. And I wasn't sure exactly if it was going to match with my decor. I have some um, curtains in my living room that I'm trying to pull this color out of. And I thought it was kind of turquoise, but turquoise was a too bright of a blue, and it's not quite green either. So it's kind of in the middle. And this one, I held it up to my curtains, and it is a perfect match. So I'm super excited about that. It's going to go great with my living room, and I'm really excited to paint my end table with this. And then I have some, I don't know how to say that, chamois? <laughs> um, yellow. It's a yellow color. I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to do with this. I have a few ideas, but I haven't like committed to anything yet. So I just really liked this yellow color and I'm sure I'll find some things to do with it, but I really liked it. So that's my paints. I went ahead and I got some more Seven Gypsies lace. This is not as thick as the other piece I got. Well, this piece is thick, definitely. These two pieces are a little bit thinner. I just really loved the lace. I like that look. And I'm sure I can use this in scrapbooking or cards or whatever. So I got a little bit more lace. Um, I've got a stamp set. I love stamping, card making, anything. So the stamp sets are great for those. Um, this one, what's it called? I don't see the name. But it's it's... I thought it would be good for um, thank you cards or something. It has I am grateful and small blessings and blessed and it's got a few really cute hearts 
and some frame stamps that you could um, make tags or anything with and then like a little background design here so that one will be fun to play with I really like that one and I found these in the store I thought they were really cute they're like some little um, little they're called mini round hangers so kind of like a cool paper clip I think you can slip those on your paper or whatever I just got a little hook here you can I don't know use it to hang something maybe or tie some ribbon on there or something so those will be fun to play with they also had some that were shaped like hangers so I was really debating between these and the hanger ones and I decided on these so maybe next time I'll go ahead and get the hangers but I really liked these so I got these first and then I saw these on sale in the store, so I don't know if they're like uh, available just to purchase, but I always need chipboard letters for scrapbooking or card making or whatever. So I went and got this pack of chipboard letters, and they're a lot bigger than I expected, but that's a great thing for scrapbooking and different um, projects. So I really like those chipboard letters. And then I got this 6x6 pad. This is the Harmony seven gypsies it's like a wedding theme so I don't really have like any wedding stuff going on right now <laughs> but I really liked the patterns and so it's it's double-sided you've got um, this side and this side's got some pegs on it uh, let's see um, that looks like a uh, front of a tuxedo and the back has lots of different uh, like marriage license ceremonies so those are all cute I like the size of the 6x6 pads for making cards. The patterns are a little bit smaller and they do a little bit better for card making rather than scrapbooking. So Mr. and Mrs. That one's cute. It's got some like lace backgrounds there. Some newspaper on this side. I really liked um, this music stuff. I liked that paper. That's one of the reasons I picked it. So I'll be doing something with that, I'm sure. Let's see. So yeah, this one just has a lot of a lot of cute papers in it that I'm sure I can use. Uh, let's see. That one's marriage certificate. That's really cool. You can even write in your own personal information in there and do like a wedding scrapbook. So I'm really excited about that. I'll be using that. And then I was pleasantly surprised to see that they included this scrap pack in my um, box. It was like a little, little surprise there. So I was so excited to see that because, you know, I'm always debating on um, the things in the store like, oh, should I get this or should I get that? And I'm never really quite sure. But um, it was nice that they send, sent me some of these scraps. So I don't really know what's in here, but I'm going to go ahead and open it up and look. Looks like they sent some of this mixed media paper, which I did a pillow with the rooster one earlier, and it's just amazing paper to work with. It's paper, but it feels like, uh, feels like fabric, so it's like so versatile. You can do so many things with it. So this is the mermaid's paper. Oh, that'll be fun to paint front and the back and I just I love this wood grain just the texture of it so I'm not quite sure what I'll do with it yet but I'm gonna think of something <laughs> so that's pretty cool let's see what else is in here uh, looks like they sent some tissue some tissue paper so that's really fun all right everything out. So I have a little uh, burlap stretched canvas. That's cute. And a little canvas one. So those are pretty tiny. Don't know what I'll do with them, but I'm sure I'll think of something. They're really cute though. I wonder what the, what the uh, size of those are. I don't have my um, ruler handy. It's a two by two. It's two by two canvas. So then there's like these little bits of string and cord in here. So those are really cool. I could see that being like a handle on something. We'll figure out what to do with those. Lots of cute little uh, clothespins. 
I've got some that are just uh, brown like regular wood but it's really fun to see all these different colors they have tons of different colors in their store so they're really fun to look through and see what they have and they also have these uh, three different sizes they've got the mini ones and then these and then the really big ones so clothespins every size every color for any project you might want to do so that's pretty cool I'll have to put these in my little jar of clothespins. So now it looks like some little, you know, I was actually debating getting some of these tags. So that's really cool. T uh, tickets. These are actually tickets. Kind of cool that they sent me one. So now I can see it up close. Be your own kind of beautiful. I actually have their stamp set that has this stain on it. Stain on it. And I just did a card and I just posted it on my blog if you want to see. Be your own kind of beautiful. I just love that, um, love that sentiment. Homemade. Oh, that's cool. A little homemade tag. So if you make something for someone like uh, cookies or anything, send a recipe, put the homemade tag on it. That's a good idea. So lots of little tags and tickets in here. Fun things to use. Oh, and we got some little treat bags. Those are always fun to decorate. I could see stamping on it or doing something and using a paper clip on there too. Maybe using it for like a gift card. Flip a gift card in there or something. So that's cool. Ooh, and then some lace. I don't know. I'm like really into lace right now. I just love the look of it. So this is really awesome. Some black lace. I'm, I've am i also thought about like putting it down and spraying some of your mists over it, using it sort of as a screen or like a um, stencil. But I haven't tried it yet because I just don't want to like... Um, spray my lace before I know what to do with it. So we'll see. Maybe I'll try it sometime. And lots of little burlap and canvas scraps in here. Some more tags. And corrugated cardstock. Craft. Ooh, more paper clips or clothespins. I like those. Lots of crap. Let me see these papers here. That's cool. I think that's their nautical collection, if I'm not mistaken. And then this one, oh, that one might be from um, their, uh, I can't remember, it's like Vintage USA or something like that. It's more of a patriotic theme. So that's really cool. I can see doing something with these. That looks really patriotic right now. And then, okay, some other pens and drinks. Some white cardstock. This is cool. Oh, I like the feel of this. I think this is maybe some of their Seven Gypsies papers. You got some luggage here and some cool patterns on the back. This is probably, I think this is their beans and bags uh, collection. You got teas and coffees and everything. So that's really cool. And it's on uh, craft cardstock. So that would be really fun to um, color or paint in with your Tattered Angels paints. So maybe I'll come up with something with that. Here's some more drinks. Polka dots. I love polka dots. <laughs> I just think this pattern goes well with a lot of different things. So this is a nice big chunk of it. So I'm sure I can use that on cards or something. So thank you. Uh, let's see. Ooh. This is like black cardstock, but it has sort of a different feel to it. I wonder if it's some of their... Um, mistable papers or something so I'm gonna have to look into that if not it kind of looks like a chalkboard maybe I can do some sort of like um, lettering maybe I can do some um, painting with my ivory high impact paint do it sort of like a chalkboard lettering kind of deal we'll see we'll see we'll see if we can do that here's some of their lined paper like that oh and this is from their Bon Voyage um, line of papers so that's really fun and I think that's about it so wow lots of good goodies here so I'm really excited about this scrap pack and of course all of the other um, things that I ordered and got and I am just ready to dig into some of my projects that I've been waiting for so thank you for watching and hopefully you'll go over and you'll check out some of the canvas corp goodies they have tons of things in their store that I am still like drooling over so um, I'm sure someday I'll get to it but for now this is what I have and I'll be working on 
some fun projects. So thank you for watching and I'll catch you next time.